One of Northeast Asia's largest aerospace and defense exhibitions, dubbed Seoul 8X 2023, kicks off tomorrow. Visitors can get a look at the latest technology that they don't get to see every day, including the homegrown KF-21 for the very first time. What's also worth noticing this time is an unusual landing of U.S. strategic bomber, the B-52. Our defense correspondent, Chen min Jung has a preview. South Korea's first homegrown supersonic fighter jet, the KF-21, soars above Seoul Air Base. It's being revealed to the public for the very first time at the biennial Seoul International Aerospace and Defense Exhibition, taking place from Tuesday to Sunday. This year's exhibition is the largest so far, with some 550 entities from 35 countries taking part. Spectators can get a rare up-close look at the country's latest military equipment, such as the F-35A stealth fighter jets and the F-A-50 light attack aircraft. Also on display is the country's main battle tank, the K-2 Black Panther, which shot to fame when Poland struck a deal to purchase 1,000 of them last year. And to commemorate the 70th anniversary of the Seoul-Washington alliance this year, the U.S. has boosted its display of military power. Yes, the B-52 will conduct uh, one to two flybys of Seoul Airfield during Seoul ADEX. U.S. strategic bomber the B-52 is making an appearance as it is making a rare landing at a South Korean airbase this week. Also one of the key U.S. assets on display is the F-22 Raptor, known as the world's most powerful fighter jet. Seoul ADEX has been growing in size with every addition, with Korea looking to become one of the world's top four defense export countries. It's also striving to become one of the world's top air shows. We'll do our best to make Seoul ADEX, which will be held again in 2025, one of the world's top three air shows. Taking this as an opportunity to promote the country's advanced military and space technologies overseas, South Korea has invited senior-level military officials and delegations from 53 countries. The exhibition was first launched in 1996 to promote domestic defense firms and boost global technology exchanges. Chemin Dong, Arirang News.